Today's topic is about how things work inside a computer at a high level. You will learn about the three important components of a computer, and the steps take place to support both read and write operations. Let's get started. There are three important hardware components in a computer, and they are CPU, memory, or RAM, and storage. These components are managed by an operating system to support read and write operations. To put it simply, the workflow of a write operation is as follows, a CPU accepts and processes the write request, writes data in memory, before data being flushed to the storage. On the other hand, a read operation from an application will first attempt to read data in the memory. If the data is not currently in the RAM, the operation system raises an exception as a page fault. As a result, the data has to be retrieved from storage devices to RAM before returning to the application. Modern technology is all about parallelism or multitasking. To truly support parallelism, adequate hardware resources need to be provisioned to support operations. In fact, internally, parallelism is achieved by implementing time shared. Let's look at a simple example. When there are multiple requests, a time shared operating system uses CPU scheduling and multi programming to provide each request with a small portion of a shared computer at once. With an increasing number of requests, CPUs can be added to support additional workloads. Similarly, add additional RAM when needed to better support incoming data. Generally speaking, storage tends to be slower than RAM. Especially for those mechanical storage devices, they cannot access data as quickly as RAM does. Moreover, the storage throughput, also called data transfer rate, plays an important role to improve the overall performance. Let's use a simple example to explain the relationship among these three hardware components. You can think of CPU as a person pouring water into a kitchen sink, and water is stored in a reservoir water tank through a draining pipe. To speed up the task, more people can help pour water into the same sink. However, if your draining capacity cannot keep up with the amount of incoming water, one possible way is to increase the kitchen sink size to prevent overflowing. Logically, increasing the draining capacity certainly helps in this situation. Let's recap what we have learned so far. A commonly asked question on which hardware component is the most important of all. A better question to ask is, how to increase the throughput and improve the overall performance of a computer? There are many considerations to size a server, or a database cluster. To improve overall performance, all three components are equally important. Ideally, for both read and write operations, it is recommended to use high-throughput storage and provision sufficient IOPS. If the server is optimized for read operations, abundant RAM helps greatly. With good throughput storage devices, and ample amount of memory for fast processing, you can add additional CPUs to increase overall throughput. This concludes the introduction of computer technology and I.O. operations. In the upcoming discussions, we will talk about MongoDB's Wired Tiger storage engine, followed by sizing a MongoDB cluster with different use cases.